Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play System Shock 2. Last time we met Shodan and learned what exactly has been going on aboard the ship and who the aliens or what the aliens really are. We've been ordered to reprogram the three sim units on the ops deck because the many are using them to develop a mutagen which will you know basically turn into dead space really the mutagen will transform dead flesh into hunter killer hybrids I wonder if they ripped the idea off I don't know anyway let's pick it up I see a guy dressed in red over there can I wrench him no he ran away I guess that really shouldn't surprise me. Let's not follow him. Let's head over here first. An audio log, Suarez, July 3rd, 2114. Regarding, let's do it. Beck, I think your idea for insurance is going to get us in a lot of trouble, but I trust you, so let's do it. I've managed to wrangle access codes to the escape pods on the command deck. We only need to hack into Xerxes' emergency subsystem, get past the ice nodes, and try to avoid being spotted by Bronson's security team. Piece of cake, right? Crew quarters. I definitely hear something moving around. On the ground here, we've got a shotgun in terrible condition and broken. On the body, we have six rifled slugs. It's like the crew quarters themselves. We are many. And you are one. How can you hope to, to prevail, prevail against, against us? Prevail. Let's head up the grav shaft. I knew it wouldn't be that easy. It's downright crowded up here. That damn monkey is causing real problems for us. Don't worry, we'll tease out a pattern that works. Perfect. I think Your flesh will welcome us. I think I killed the monkey. You Good. You'll notice that the monkeys have I don't leveled up. He was using pyrokinesis instead of cryokinesis. Here we've got a med hypo, the usual broken shotgun from a hybrid. Same thing here. And I'm due for a junk offload. But before I do that, let's at least recharge and let's note the psionic upgrade station here. And the weapon upgrade station here. The stat station here. And the tech station here. Items dropped. Oh, and we can pick up the pool cues too. That's all good to know. That's an ugly noise. That's an adult spider. Your song is 
not ours. Unreal. Hurry. Run. That was our first adult spider and our first grenade hybrid. <laughs> grenade hybrids are pretty stupid, if I remember right. It's the sh shotgun guy I'm still more worried about. All right, let's kill the grenade guy now. Yeah, if we get close to him, he won't do anything. So anyway, the adult spider has nothing. The shotgun hybrid just has the usual broken shotgun. The grenade hybrid, five nanites. All right, let's go offload some junk. The recycler is on this deck, but I can't quite remember exactly where. Oh, good. If that looked familiar, well, the red guy should have too. Yes, those are cyborg assassins. Just like the ones in good old System Shock 1. Oh, were those bodies still there? No. The shotgun guy was gone anyway. Well, let's examine the pool cue. Let's see what's going on there. This classy looking polished wood pool cue seems to have been illegally modified to include a small powered stabilization field, a subtle form of cheating. Uh, over here we've got a slot machine. You can gamble with your nanites, but it's a pretty dumb thing to do. This body has three cyber modules on it. And that's it. The main point of coming up here is, of course, the... The many things to our eyes are open. The recharger and the upgrade station. <laughs> Gladly, sir. Gladly. Well, heck. Might as well go drop everything off. So I'm very nearly full anyway. Oh no! Cyborg Assassin. They are much more powerful in this game than they were in System Shock 1. Anyway. Let's leave all that junk there and hope we can find the stupid recycler. Well, let's head through here. Are we your Another damned hybrid. Flesh. Are we your flesh? Come on. You flesh. Are we kill me? Nothing in here. I guess we can head down the grav shafts. Alright, let's head in here. The body's got nothing, but here's an audio log. Malik, July 8th, 2114. Regarding, goodbye. I brought down the last of the sim units today. I am full of the glory of the many. Here comes Bronson. I am at peace. Good evening, Bronson. Have you come to... Turn that damn thing off. The locker has six anti-personnel shotgun shells in it. Let's keep going. Let's 
not get tagged by a grub. <laughs> Frankly, that's just embarrassing. Right, we've got an egg up on the ceiling. Nothing inside it. I can get him to jump. We should be able to destroy it. Grab the usual pod organ. And here is a suit of standard issue combat armor. The Cenetech Class 3 armor requires a strength of 4 to equip. It is composed of a triple layered composite of self stiffening resins and long chain replicating polymers. Heavier than the Dartek Class 1, the Class 3 also provides substantially more protection from hostile firepower. The Cenetech subdivision of the Trioptimum military provides the armor for many light infantry platoons of both the UNN and corporate military forces. Inside the locker, we have 12 standard bullets and an audio log. Karenchkin, March 2nd, 2114. Regarding everything old. Miri, so far our work with the late model assassin cyborgs has gone remarkably well. I hope things with that son of a bitch Diego never come to that. But it is comforting to know we are not nearly as defenseless as the UNN stormtroopers might think. The only glitch we've encountered is with the upgraded laser apias. The poor things keep severing parts of themselves. We're trying to get the bugs fixed, but I know that bureaucrat is watching us. It's sad to see a man so haunted by the ghost of his father. His hatred for everything Triop represents is remarkable to behold. All right, let's check out the other bedrooms. Definitely hear someone in here. Something. Good old fashioned pipe hybrid. Uh, pistol I can't carry, so it's time to offload some junk. The corpse is empty. In here, wait, the locker has a med hypo. Not bad. Oh, and there's a potted plant there, too. There might have been more potted plants in the other rooms. I should take a second look just to be sure. Not in that one. And not in this one, either. Okay, good. Check up here for the exact same thing. I feel like that's something I could easily miss, but it looks like I didn't this time. Let's see, how many modules do I have? 45. Okay. Let's head right back. And let's keep going. I wish I could just find the damned recycler already. And let's pick up the pistol that we left in here. And let's search this other bedroom. An antitoxin hypo and 20 nanites in the locker. Uh. Oh, and that time the steam hurt me. Go figure. Apparently safety lies right against the wall. All right, now let's head through here. 
Security lockdown, access denied. Security lockdown, access denied. hate those fucking things so much. Anyway, we killed one, so let's check this room out. We got nothing. Over here, looks like the same story. Nothing. But back here, on the ground, there's an auto repair unit. That's definitely worth holding on to. Much like the ice pick will automatically fix something that's broken, or will automatically hack something. The Viridian V-Badge Auto Repair Unit is marketed in an amazing display of underrating as a repair device. In reality, the Auto Repair Unit scans and then virtually rebuilds from scratch a target device in its original pristine state. Several documented cases have observed subtle improvements in the repaired device where the original was damaged beyond scannability. Much to the relief of licensed repair specialists, the auto repair unit is a single-use device. Alright, let's check over here. We've got a locker with three cyber modules and 30 nanites. Brings me to 48 modules. And there's nothing in the bathroom. I feel like I might be missing something down here. Maybe not. Let's keep going. Back up the grav shafts. Down this hallway. Interesting. I searched to the body and three grubs popped out. We can bag all of them without any real trouble, but the cyborg assassin is a different story. Get over here. See, once the cyborgs start, once the assassin starts chucking those shurikens, we're in real trouble. <laughs> Fuck you, my friend. Alright, he's got nothing. The body's got 12 anti personnel bullets. Security control station. I could repair that replicator, but I don't think that's a good use of what I've got going here. Maybe it is. Let me see if this is the right one. Hi there. Please make your selection. Please make your selection. No. No need to use anything on this replicator. We'll just leave it broken. Camera. Nothing on the upper level. Jeez, I thought it was going to be a midwife. Imagine my surprise. Yes. Right away, sir. Marvelous choice. If I do so. <laughs> Is it? Marvelous choice. I haven't Is had to do this in a while. <laughs> Is 
<laughs> I hate these things. <laughs> there we got him. Shotgun hybrid. He'll take and unload his shotgun. Now let's check out this log. Siddons, July 2nd, 2114, regarding bad feeling. Tommy, I don't know what's going on here. Ever since we received orders to clear out Deck 3, people have been disappearing. There's a kind of gloom hanging over everybody, but no one seems to be willing to talk about it. I don't like it. Meet me on the wreck deck at 0900. I've got an idea. A little insurance for you and me. Well, what's back here? Ah, a chemical storeroom. And a bulkhead. A security crate requires hack skill too. Bulkhead 44, I'm not gonna mess with just yet. But let's do check the chemical storeroom. Nothing but chemicals in the manifest in here, but let's check the manifest for ops. Chemical manifest, ops, laboratory stock room, inventory, operations, storage closet 089, arsenic 2, barium 2, cesium 2, copper 2, fermium 1, hassium 1, iridium 2, radium 1, sodium 2, yttrium 1. This inventory list is required by UNN safety code number 134882 to be kept on hand in all areas of hazardous chemical storage. Storage is defined by UNN safety code number 195331 to consist of all areas in which hazardous chemicals, see safety code number 093355, are stored in quantities greater than 50 grams per 10 square feet for durations of greater than 24 hours. Anyway, let's find the sodium. Looks like it's up here. We can finally finish researching this little needle. This is a curiously constructed hypospray device. Let's wait till that finishes up. Research complete. Psy Booster. Summary. This hypo will increase the user's size stat by one for five minutes. Analysis. This pharmaceutical combines a complex mix of psychoactive chemicals, some of them quite powerful, and refined annelid tissue. Many of the chemicals have enzymatically bonded to the annelid tissue fragments, many of them since construction of the hypo, as if the annelid tissue is still biologically active. Recommendation. This experimental hypospray will increase your psi stat for a few minutes if you don't mind injecting yourself with purified annelid tissue. Long-term usage may well cause hallucinatory side effects. Naturally, we do want to hang on to those. I'm just going to check on something real quick. Let's see where I am. Alright, now let's... Let's stick with this base area for now. Let's explore the rest of the crew quarters. Down this second set of grab shafts. I know there's at least one grub already out and moving. Maybe two. Falling into the water. Well, that's one. That's two. Still nothing inside the egg, but I'll take the pod organ. There's another grub down. This egg has an annelid healing gland. Hatches a grub. 
which means I can get a pod organ when I destroy it. What about this one? Analid healing gland. We're getting pretty lucky here. Another grub, another pod organ. All right, let's start searching these rooms. There's a grub, naturally. Two grubs. The egg's got nothing good in it. And it's not hatching either. Okay. I don't mind if it doesn't hatch. There's a toxic egg with nothing inside. Alright, let's check this locker. Disposable maintenance tool and now I need to make a junk offloading trip. Let's head all the way back. What? I never even realized this, but... I think you do significant extra damage if you catch an enemy unaware. Just like Thief. Awesome. Let's finish out the crew quarters, and then we'll head over to where we saw the red cyborg assassin go. <laughs> Devastating. Try and ignore it. See, this is the room I was in. Did I have to skip anything in here? No. Let's try this next one. Six armor piercing bullets. Nothing in that locker. Three cyber modules in that one. I'm up to 51. Is there another? I do not welcome you. Silence the discord. Let's check down here. Well, this doesn't sound good. <laughs> Alright, that's our first uh, analid swarm. When the door closes, I'll talk about that. The swarm is basically indestructible, but it dies after, tw I think, 20 seconds, so you just have to let it out and then run away long enough without getting stung to death. That's seriously the strategy. I think it's a lot easier to just destroy the egg.
All right, we bagged the grub. The midwife is empty. Here is an unresearched object. This looks like a tiny heart with seven chambers and a single elongated artery. Chemicals needed to research. None. Beautiful, so let's just keep going. Nothing in this egg. <laughs> it's another swarm egg, so I'll just kill it with cryo. Another one of those. What about this one? Nothing inside. A toxic egg. Let's destroy it too. All right. In here, I find a speed booster and 20 nanites. Nothing in the bathroom. Back here, inside the locker, three more cyber modules and a box of six rifled slugs. I have 54 modules, so I can upgrade something now. And there's a potted plant, which I very nearly missed. Let's try the other door. Potted plant. Grubs. No problem. Research complete. Research complete. Alright. Summary. Annelid swarms cannot be damaged by any known means, but have a very short lifespan. Annelid eggs often contain useful organs if you search them before they are destroyed. Analysis. <clears throat> Although small, the flying organisms generated by these pods contain a complex DNA structure indicative of a much more advanced creature. Each small creature, genetically male, is bonded to the swarm via a subsionic link. This link is impervious to normal psionic attacks or disturbances. Annelid swarm creatures seem to exist only as a living weapon, since their cells have a genetically programmed lifespan of no more than a few seconds. During these seconds, they are attracted to human tissue as they frantically attempt to prolong their short lives with nourishment. The eggs that these emerge from often contain organs that might be extracted for useful purposes unless the egg was destroyed in combat. Recommendation. The annelid swarm is best dealt with by avoidance since the creatures will die soon after being hatched. Do not waste ammunition on them. Alright, let's try this egg. It's got a healing gland inside. And it just hatches a grub. Nice and easy. Alright, let's check out this locker. A large beaker and a psi hypo. Alright, let's look for some worms so we can turn, turn that beaker into worm clusters. Security crate. Empty locker. I think it's about time for some junk offloading, but... We can try to check out the other two bedrooms. Corpse has nothing. Your flash will Oh shit. We do not welcome you. Killing this guy is going to be a pain. There we got him. Med hypo, usual shotgun. Alright, back here we got nothing. Inside the locker, a psi hypo and 10 nanites. In here, the locker has a new fully charged swift boost. Why not? And the bathroom has nothing. So all that's left in here is his broken shotgun. Let's check the other room out. We got grubs! Is 
Sounds like we got monkeys too. <laughs> Nothing. There's the monkey. <laughs> awesome. All right, inside the locker, 12 armor piercing bullets and a med kit, which I do want very much. All right, now I gotta get past these guys. It will not be easy. Run, run, run. Up the grab shaft. Let's upgrade Psy. Take it to five. All right. Next, when I get to 53 again, I will, without doubt, unlock third tier neural capacity. I have junk to offload, but just because I am carrying that beaker, I want to make sure I turn it into worm clusters. Good old fashioned pipe hybrids. Neither of them have anything. That's all good. Turn that beaker into worm clusters. Come on. There you go. And let's head back up to deck four. See you. Run. Run. Burn, kill me. Ryan, if you'll stop running away. All right. Back to deck four. I knew that was going to be trouble. Eat shit! I hate those damn things. I still didn't quite get everything. So let's pop back down this grav shaft. I need to check the last two bedrooms. Okay, the hybrid disappeared from that one. But in this one, there were some armor-piercing bullets in one of the lockers. All right. Well, now let's look at the map to be sure, but... Yeah, unless I go through the bulkhead out of here... It's time to... Follow the Red Assassin. We have fully explored the crew quarters. So, good? Yes, I would say good. <laughs> Grenade hybrid. Dropped a med hypo. Alright, let's hang a right. The 
When you and your kind are extinct, we shall cleanse our collective memory of the stain of your existence. I was trying to listen to the many. The individual is obsolete. When you and your kind are extinct, we shall cleanse we our collective memory of the stain of your existence. Alright. Now let's head down. Let's try that hallway again. Got a cyborg to deal with. Hybrid, nothing. Cyborg assassin, nothing. Trash can, nothing. We seek. We seek. This desk has six anti personnel bullets. Nothing anywhere in here. There's a grav shaft to go up. Let's check this room first. Anti rad hypo and an audio log, Siddons, July 11th, 2114, regarding Civil War. I'm trying to get up to find you, Tommy, but I can't. I'm stuck in ops. There's some kind of civil war going on here. The security forces came in and. Now, don't freak out. But I'm hurt. But not too bad. I managed to pull together a supply of med kits and a few other goodies. Some of it looks valuable, but I'm not sure what it is. Maybe some kind of military-grade implant. I left the stuff I didn't need in a corner of the data library, out of the way in case I need it later. I'm on my way. I promise you, I will not die. I will not die. You do the same, my love. Yours, Becca. Alright. Alright, heading up there spawned in a big group of grubs. Which is fine. We will annihilate all six of them. I'm cool with it. Nothing in that egg. Nothing in that egg. Just because I hate the analids. I'm going to destroy both eggs and take the pod organs. Those grav shafts take me upstairs, which I'll do eventually, but for now, on this desk, in that desk rather, there's a med hypo. 15 nanites in this one. And a brand new cyborg assassin. Oh, but it's the red one! Okay, somehow it infiltrated the bushes. And once it got into the bushes, I couldn't do anything. One more whack and we'll have it. Okay, five nanites and a quantum simulation chip. Your skill surprises me. Transmitting cybernetic modules. 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 Okay, that was for p picking up the quantum simulation chip. We got 10 modules, brings me up to 11. 
a quantum simulation chip. That's fine. Let's check out the other room here on the lower level. This desk has six standard bullets and a pistol in perfect condition, which I have no space for. Time for another junk offload, you guessed it. I'm sorry. the grenade hybrids ever seem to drop anything. Well, let's take that perfect condition pistol. Unload it, like usual. And let's head upstairs now. Finally kill that other grenade hybrid. This room seems pointless. This one doesn't. On the level we're on, in the desk is a large beaker, so of course, another trip to Hydro. This is Ooh. Okay. I guess we will pull those modules and nanites up to us. I do want to hear what Xerxes says, though. Nothing, huh? This is Xerxes. At 0200, there will be a poetry reading by protocol unit T892-2 in the Deck 5 Commons area. Please bring any authorized... Here, instead of taking the ladder, how about we just drop? This is Xerxes, at 0200. Hmm. Maybe I can do it now. How low do I have to get? This is... Apparently, I have to touch bottom. Okay, got the nanites. Oh, I can't. I just can't pull the modules, no matter what. Well, yeah, it's worth taking a little damage. This is Xerxes, at 0200. There will be a poetry reading by protocol unit T892-2 in the Deck 5 Commons area. Please bring any authorized material that you wish to be read by T892-2. Okay, let's check out the other rooms up here. In this desk, we have 20 nanites and version 2 modification software. In this room, we've got nothing. Well, let's head down the grav shaft or just hop the railing. Head into this last room Tau Seti 5. It's like a big conference room. I don't see anything in here. And we have finished off this map, so now the big question is where to go next. Got three options, Bulkhead 42, Bulkhead 43, and Bulkhead 44. I'm leaning towards... I'm leaning toward numerical order. 
which would be 42, of course. Is there another? Eat shit. I'm just here for worm clusters. I can recharge my implant too. With all of that done, let's head through Bulkhead 42. That brings us to... Well, hard to say, really. Although it does look like Bulkhead 44 brought us to the same map, so... That much is good. Let's make a save here before we enter Operation C. And let's make a new quick save. And I will call that a video. This has been Let's Play System Shock 2. What we've really accomplished, just besides exploring, is getting the quantum simulation chip. We're still working on reprogramming the three sim units. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.